Testing. Okay. <clears throat> Testing. Six here, trying to unlock the heroes. Jaina versus Ro for Doomhammer. You asked for it. I hope you like my invention. Job done. We were waiting on this. Like my invention. Oh, if you're sure, this is very hard. Waiting for Espo to get off work. He's uh -uh. running late tonight. Lightning strikes twice. It is very hard. Oh, if you're sure. <laughs> And so I'm running the. I created a second account and I'm playing early on. It's kind of a waste. Jaina 
versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. You asked for it. Hmm. One shot, one kill. This is interesting, watching him smack away at it. They'll never know what hit them. One shot, one And it's nearly fully charged up on energy, so much damage. at him a little bit. Wow, he had 
free attack and didn't use it. This one's mine. Like my invention. There we go. The gates are open. This one's mine. This one's mine. Okay, another one down. So here's my quest level up. Getting class level 10 and win five canes in practice mode. So one more to do that. And she's a level five. Shall bring victory. You asked for it. Is someone injured? Do the elemental combo. I'm warning you. I'm unstable. What you want? Winners move. Empires fall. Don't mess with me. I hope you like my invention. Must cleanse the sun well. Yeah, that worked well. We must cleanse the sun well. Someone called the dark. Rock! <laughs> 
gates are open. Uh, I opened three Angoro packs with the free three one free th three free ones I got the other, yesterday, and I incorporated a lot of those cards in this deck. Jaina versus Garrosh. Victory or death. You asked for it. Job's done. I'm warning you. I'm on oh, I shouldn't have played him now. Bruh. Keep forgetting. I, I would just want to play him because he's cheap and small, but. Ah. Uh, not supposed to play him yet. So you won't kill him. Lame. Job's done. See, it was actually a ploy to make him think I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, let's save the next one. Tadingo! Yes! Yeah! 
Gates are open. Back to work. For the war chief. Hmm. This player knows how to play his cards. Definitely. I'm warning you. I'm unstable! Boy, uh, Ready to ride! Face my steel! Don't take him out. Don't take him out. Good. Thank you. Handle it. Now he's going to take him out. He should. Be thirsty. They'll never know what it is very hard. Okay. What did he draw? Ah, try this. Mm. So two damage. I need something good. Yeah, that's decent. I hope you like my invention. That's not decent. Okay. So I could sheep this and ping it and do seven points of damage. Yeah, all depends on what he draws here. Back 
to work. Nice. Four, five, six. This one's mine. Oh, if you're sure. Oh, very close. two packs so far tonight. Play three games in play mode. for it. Okay. Uh, let's see. No, oh, no. Yes, yes. One shot, one kill. Ready for action. Very good. They'll never know what Stop the 
done. Ready for action! Pass me that arc light spanner! <laughs> I feel so good about this one. <laughs> this is gonna be the hardest to get rid of. This one's mine. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, we have to use it again. They'll never know what it is. With honor. You asked for it. Ready for action. Two of them hit. So good. This one's mine. This one's mine. There we go. Ready for action. Reporting for duty. There we go. Game over. This one's mine. This one's mine. 
just in time. I should probably send out a tweet letting everybody know we're running a few minutes late. <clears throat> What's up, dude? How are you? Ugh, wiped out. <laughs> right? We had uh, our PTO night, and it's jump rope for heart. So You're on stream, had a fun, by the way. We had a fundraiser tonight where um, we did uh, Ben Haven Ninja Warrior. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. So we set up an obstacle course, and it was a dollar each time you ran through it and it took about three minutes to run through it for each kid and uh, we raised like almost 300 bucks nice so pretty cool yeah oh my gosh the kids loved it so i was uh i started the course and um you know ran the kids through the first two obstacles which were like a little rock climbing wall and a uh a rope swing and uh yeah so i was yelling floor is lava all night long <laughs> is that why you sound that way oh uh, yeah and because i i love my kids oh my gosh i love hanging out with them and of course the parents get in on it too and i'm talking all night long so it was it was good stuff we had such a good time but it was like after teaching all day and then you know yet literally yelling at kids in a good way all night long um, yeah i <laughs> But it was good stuff. And my face hurts from smiling so much. <laughs> well, good. But, but I am glad to be here because, uh, dude, I need to be playing some Hearthstone. Is, or talking about it, playing it, it doesn't matter. This is uh, crazy. Let me, uh, let me add some stuff to the show notes before we go live. Uh, We're recording. Alive. Well, yeah. Hey, people that are listening to us live what's up <laughs> so i'm trying to fix my video yeah your video is not coming through but you know I'm, I'm my one monitor died too this week last night i was having issues i got home from work about 10 30 last night and i was like well let me get a few games of hearthstone in before i go to bed so I made myself a cup of coffee and I'm sitting here and booted up my PC and yeah, lost the monitor. So now I'm, I'm down to two monitors, which I mean, you know, that's fine. And most people just have one. So I had three. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to close Discord a second and call you right back. Yeah, no worries.
Yo, yo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Working on it. Gotcha. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, let me do this. Let me unplug it, plug it back in. Uh, uh, there we go. Let me see. Is it? Is it really? Oh, it is really you. All it right. Is. You got that shirt on that has ones and zeros. That's right. I forgot what uh, you know. Res had figured out what it actually said. Yeah. And I don't remember what he had said it was. Dude, that Res. I miss Res. Res, if you're out there, come home soon. Let's say he's coming home soon, isn't he? Like this summer? Yeah, so Rez will be home the first week in July. And then, of course, the second week in July is Espo Mountain Bike Weekend. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Someday the mountain might kill them. But the, oh, no, it's someday the mountain might get them. Because the, back then they couldn't use the word kill. Gotcha. But the, law, but the law never will. Or I don't know. Something like that. Duke's a hazard. This is the day they were born. That's right. That's right. So you know. Just you know. the good old boys. We grew up with the Dukes. That's right. Let me see. I'm plugging in what, a, what I did this past week. I think. I think that's my rank. Oh, no, I got to put on many Priest wins. I won a few games with Priest this past week. Creeping closer, dude. I am creeping closer. Hearthstone is bogging down my machine. How's my audio, by the way? Sounds fine. How do I sound? Do I sound any different? Uh, you, you sound exactly the same. Well, bummer. Hopefully it sounds better. Actually, I, I tell you what. Yes. There's a little less background noise. There should be. Yeah. Yeah, this this has a lot more. Um, it has a pop. You sound a lot it. more, a, a lot crisper, and there's less background noise. It should, <laughs> considering okay. how much these things cost. <laughs> well, I, I right. saw your post where you said you got a new mic, but I had totally, I mean, it's been. If I'm not at work, I'm at work. Right. So, yeah. It's it's been insane. Plus, I was in the pottery studio this week because I'm trying to trying to even out my life between exercise and uh, work, work and uh, art. Because I, I I don't get to do my own art, so I got back in the pottery studio a little bit. Nice. Yeah. It's but <laughs> I got to find the balance, dude. It's it's centering my chi getting harder and harder the more stuff i put on my plate but I'm still smiling and i'm still alive how do we do that okay Whew. I was looking back through some old show notes, trying to glean some thoughts and such. Yeah, so I had the grand idea. You know, we always have great ideas. You know, it's it's the great people that actually follow through with grand ideas that are great people. That's why I'm not a great person, because I can never follow through with my grand ideas. Um, so I had a grand idea. I have a friend... And um, she's actually a friend of the family. One of our friend's uh, adopted daughters. She uh, was into um, Warcraft years ago. Mm -hmm. And she um, had mentioned that she wanted to get into Hearthstone, but she couldn't log into her old Warcraft account, 
or battle. Now, is this uh, something we're gonna probably save for the show? Um, no. Okay, just making no. sure. Yeah, this is yeah. Um, so I told her, I said, "Hey, listen, don't don't make a Battle.net account yet. A new one." I said, "Let's let's get together." I said, "I want to pick your brain about some stuff, and then I want you to make an account, and I want you to do it while I'm, you know." recording and then I'll gleam some notes off of it because what I want to do is I want to get her reactions and her questions straight from a new player. You know what I mean? Sure. So I got her and then, you know, Matt, it's in our guild in WoW um, and that I work with. He's He's been playing Hearthstone for a month now and he's actually playing that more than Warcraft and I'm going to go through some stuff with him and I already talked to him a little bit so um, hopefully next week I'll actually have some really cool stuff based on new player experience. Okay. Well, I so. have some stuff on it too myself. Good. Well, I'll let you take charge this week Ugh. and then plan, <laughs> <laughs> plan, plan on me being on point next week with stuff. Plus this week's just been, it, it's been bonkers. Um, I actually told him, I said, I gotta, I gotta cut back next week. So. We got this. I didn't get to play some Hearthstone, so, but I'll talk about that during the show. Oh, you know what else? I, I told Deadpool. Deadpool sent me a message. I want to give him a shout out. I'm pretty much ready. Okay. there so I'll just deal with it yeah no no not a whole lot to talk about yeah I don't think anything really happened in the news this week uh, tavern brawls new Hold on, hold on, before you do anything. Oh, oh okay. Nice. Thanks, brother. There we go. I was just pulling that up to look. I 
added one word. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Reno Cruel Zakis. I like it. I like it. Cruel Zakis. And this is a brand new brawl. Yeah, next week's brawl is actually going to be the professional brawl. Whatever they call them. I forget what they call them. What do they call them? This one's the uh, heroic brawl. Arena. Heroic brawl. That's yeah. right. Heroic arena mix. Yeah, and that's the one that uh, you got to pay for. Yeah, but it's the rigor price, not the ten dollar one. Yeah, yeah, I and mean, we talked about it a little bit last week too. So, good stuff. Okay, got music ready. I'm ready to go. All right, let's do it. Okay, here we go. You're listening to Legend of the Innkeeper, the Hearthstone podcast for casual players. Ah, you're new here. Pull up a chair by the heart. Welcome to Legend of the Innkeeper. I'm Bastidius. And I am Espo. Greetings and welcome. Yes. So, did you... Remember last week I uh, talked about maybe doing some uh, new characters or a new class or starting a new account. You you did talk about that yeah. a little bit, yeah. Well, I I did that. I actually did that. Surprisingly enough, and I also did. I actually played a lot of Hearthstone this week with your new microphone. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I got a new microphone. I see that, dude. I yeah. see that. That's uh that's a spiffy microphone well, there. hopefully it, it sounds straight a off the better. space shuttle <laughs> well i had some it turns out it has a christmas money left over okay and okay. i was it was starting to burn a hole in my pocket and i'm like you know what i'm starting to have problems with my old microphone and it's starting to give me troubles and it's after the show i'm trying to adjust my levels and trying to do all these things and trying to make it work and I realize you know what it's time so yes i picked up a new mic Hopefully it sounds good. We'll see. This is the first show I'm using it on. Uh, haven't really even tweaked it much, so hopefully it works. The funny thing is that my uh, <laughs> I, t I talked to Radmobile about it and just got his uh, opinion on it before I bought it. And he's like, dude, do you think your uh, mic stand can hold it? Because <laughs> this thing <laughs> weighs a whole lot more than my other mic did. Oh, I bet. So I put it on my mic stand and... It holds it. It does hold it. Nice. But if I take my finger and just push a little bit, it just goes straight down all the way down. Yeah. So it is <laughs> right at the edge of holding it. <laughs> so yeah. I may have to replace my mic stand at some point too. you get a new boom. Yes. So one a little heavier duty than this cheap ten dollar one egg off Amazon. Well on my end. I get a little, I get a lot, uh, I get no background noise. Good. You sound a lot crisper. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. You sound good. Well, well, they said so. that if you buy this mic, you'll sound like uh Garrett Weinzerl. 
you know the deep voice and that radio voice and all that 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 that's oh you know, yes yes is, yes he does work? the angry chicken yeah you sound just like him oh right you just gotta okay. you gotta have uh some pompous hair. oh right yeah get my time, hair sticking straight up in the air yeah I think it was like two years ago we were at blizzcon <laughs> and he had some, some yeah it's crazy like hair. hey look it's gary how'd you know you have no idea you won't miss him yeah Everybody, yeah, he's it's a good funny. Guy. Scott Johnson calls him Garrett Wines or Dribble. Wines Dribble. <laughs> Wine Dribble. Uh, it's funny. Anyways, yeah. so yeah, he Hearthstone. is definitely a good podcaster. Hearthstone this week. Um, I did play. And, Congrats. I uh, played on my regular account, and I did something this week that I haven't done in a few weeks. I uh, actually completed a dungeon run successfully. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. I beat Hunter finally. Wow. So Way to go, brother. That made it three. So what? That's my three wins, right? So far. Oh, you've got three. So well, wait, Warlock, Hunter. And I beat it on Paladin, I think. Yeah, Paladin. Oh, sweet. I didn't hear about the Paladin. Yeah, that was two weeks ago, I think. Nice. But, Way to go, dude. But. I know you played it on Paladin. But I was I feeling ambitious. And mm -hmm. I thought I'd try another one. Okay. And I won. Well, so not only did I win one, I won two this week. Druid and well, Hunter. Wait, so you have four down? Have four down. Whoa, stout. Look at you, dude. I know you already finished them, right? Yeah. 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 Rez and I both finished them like within hours of each other. Um, <laughs> Weeks I, later, uh, yeah. <laughs> Months later, we have four. Vastidius finishes four. Um, well, what else, dude? What what else? Good. Okay, that's well, that's I, awesome. Uh, I also have now five hundred and fifty gold towards my uh, uh, next expansion. That's already more than you had last time. That's right. That's right. And <laughs> uh, this whole um, arena change that just went out this week. Um, where you uh, have wild available now in arena has made me, I was like, I want to play, but okay. that would mean using gold or real cash. So I said, I'm not going to do it. I'm gotcha. going to refrain. So I'm going to keep my five fifty where it's at. Um, and then I also started another dungeon run tonight with a uh, mage. So I'm working on the mage one this time. And then I also went over to my secondary account I have for WoW, and I had started up Hearthstone at one point with that and started going through the beginner quest line and realized I was, uh, was it seven steps you have to go through in the beginner quest line? Six or seven that you have to go through. The tutorial. Step. Yeah, the tutorial. Yeah. I had completed th half of it. So I went ahead and finished all of that. Okay. And then when I got that finished, I had three Angoro packs available to me. So I uh, opened up my three Angoro packs, and one of them was a legendary. It was, um, I believe, it was a quest. And it's the I was going to say, you probably got a quest. It was the one that has um, Galvadon. Ah, the Paladin quest. Yeah, so yes. That's the one I ended up getting. Yeah. But I'm the, focusing on the Major. last Kaleidosaur. Yes, correct. So I am focusing on Mage because I took many of those cards I opened in those packs and integrated it into my starter Mage deck. Mm. And that it's interesting. Helped. It's it, it's interesting that you say I went ahead and moved towards Mage because I got that many. So it's just you know, quick tangent. Um, talk to Matt this week, one of my buddies. Matt Place. Um, no, not Matt Place. Oh, <laughs> so uh, Fatty Smashy in our guild oh. um he's a dwarf hunter he, i work with him also and um he says I, i'm having the toughest time he said you know i don't know when to disenchant he said i don't know what class to to try to start off with he said i gotta you know I, I got a few packs that i opened and and i said dude you need to play all the classes and you need to go ahead and just pick one that you like mm -hmm. and just go ahead and concentrate on that one and it's funny that you say you're concentrating on mage with that new account Mm -hmm. And, you know, he, he said he gravitated towards Hunter. He's a hunter in WoW. But I told him, I said, Hunter's a great class to start with because there's it, it's not super complicated. 
granted, you know, got some beast synergies. You got to know when to weave in your hero power. You can't always go face. Now we got a new spell hunter. So, and he was saying how it seemed like shaman for him was a little tough because, you know, the hero power seemed really useless. But um, also, on the other hand, the overload cards seemed really powerful, but yet he couldn't really weave them in correctly. So I was like, yeah, concentrate on Hunter, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it's funny that you mentioned, you know, that you gravitated towards Mage and that, you know, because that's that's kind of what I suggest to newer players, mm -hmm. you know, that they go ahead and, and, and pick a class that you like. But it, on the other hand, it's hard to do that if you don't know them. So you got to you got to play each class, I think, at least to level 10. Yep. Play each class to level 10, whether it's against the innkeeper, which I suggest doing because, you know, that makes it. You know, you're playing against AI. You've got longer turns to think about things. Yep. You know, you can. You can step You kind of know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And and they're not roping each turn. They're taking you know their turns, you know, robotically. You know, they're just playing their cards. So it makes it a little bit easier, and you get a little less salty because they're you know not emoting, and you're 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 not playing against a real person. It makes it a little bit easier. So. I kind of gave him those tips. Good, but uh, yeah. So anyway, you're weak. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. That's a good. That's <laughs> good to kind of go along with what we're going with today. So, so yeah, I, I did all those tutorials. Then I got into battling the innkeeper. Yeah, and I've beat. I haven't had time yet to go through all of them, but I have beat all of them first try, except for rogue, and okay. um, except for rogue, and I'm on the last one now, which. Uh, can't remember which one that one is, but um, it's, you know, again, you, when you go back to the main menu, you have solo play or you have play and only got play after I beat five uh, heroes. Then, exactly. Then that opened up. Yeah. And it's just kind of, you know, again, as we've discussed many times, eye opening a little bit to go through this and say, I'm a new player, never played the game before, and I want to play with my friends and do tavern brawls. I can't. And I've actually played, right now at this point, almost 20 games, including a couple play against real people games because mm -hmm. I have a quest, and it kind of pushes me in that direction to play against someone. And... I'm playing 20 games and I still, I'm still not even to a point yet where it's even going to unlock yet. So you're looking at probably three hours of gameplay. Probably. Yeah. Okay. So here's what I can say to that. Fireside gatherings have come a long way. Yep. Okay. And the thing about fireside gatherings is you, um, have a separate UI when you connect to the network that the innkeeper is on. So the innkeeper sets up his connection. He gets online, opens up Hearthstone, and you connect to the network that they're on. And at that fireside gathering, you have a whole separate UI. And from what I understand, even newer players can go ahead and get into that and play whatever fireside brawl is open at that fireside gathering so it it's it's a whole nother game sure when you when you get there which is really really cool so i want to give props to um the guys and girls that are working on the horse on the fireside gathering side over at hearthstone because they've really really done a great job i've been to two fireside gatherings so far and that 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 whole separate ui is is really awesome Granted, there's still a a steep, uh, I don't want to say learning curve, but a time curve before you can actually start playing. But the once you once you start playing, I mean that that UI has really helped out. So I haven't done it on a new account, so I, I don't. I'm say. assuming you can go in there at level one, you know, with just your mage deck. But I can't. I don't know. Cause I've never, you know, just done that. So, and last time I was with a brand new player, they didn't have that available. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'll do a little bit, little bit of research. I'll, I'll try to, 
I'll try to figure that out. Um, well, I we know have a few friends innkeepers. in the business. Yeah, that may yeah, actually so. know the answer to that question. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do a few weeks. These next few weeks are gonna be kind of like the casual new player friendly conversations um, go round. Yes, so we're gonna bring all kind of stuff to the the table these next couple weeks that have to do with newer players, new players, and brand spanking new. Don't even have a Battle.net account player. Well, <laughs> How okay, about that? Then. Good, good call. All right. Again, I took over your. That's how was fine. Your that, I mean, really, that, that's <laughs> that's really what I'm talking about. Is what you just said is, I yeah. was trying to take an aspect of a new player and starting kind of over in order to kind of yeah. get a feel for what it's like again. And you know, the quests that they give you at the beginning, the tutorial, it does walk you through quite a bit of. Here's how you deal. Here's a new card idea called taunts. Here is your hero power. And they kind of give it in a fun, interactive way of trying to walk you through that process of learning what your hero powers are for. And secrets. And just you know, going through the whole process step by step, slowly introducing you to these concepts and walking you through it. And it's it's well done. It really is well done. Once you get out of it, then it's you have a lot of... Uh, many goals or many rewards and steps that you get to encourage you to keep going. It's, you unlocked new cards, you defeated a new, you got a new hero, and you unlocked one. And it kind of walks you through that progression in such a way that makes you want to keep going because you have targets. You're like, all right, I got another boss to go attack. I got another hero to knock out. And then once you complete all those on normal, then you get to go onto expert or advanced and go through and do the same thing again all the time, unlocking additional steps along the way. And uh, I think that's, especially for new players, is a great way to keep them engaged and moving forward and not feeling too grindy at the beginning. And um, the problem is that once you are in and have been playing for years <laughs> like us, those types of things aren't available anymore because you're, you know, but it's, every game's like this. You get to the point where you're max level. You've got everything you can unlock the biggest thing, you know, there's only a few things that you can actually do to keep you going. And it's mostly the fun that keeps you going or opportunities like tavern brawls or quest and those things that keep you moving along. But they're not quite as frequent as I'm finding on the new player experience, which kind of makes the game fun again somewhat. So I've been enjoying the aspect of it. I'm going to continue on and uh, see what I can do to move forward a little bit more. So that's been it. That's been my week, you know. A little bit here, a little bit there, and actually yeah. succeeding on some avenues. So, yay, finally. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I'm not even halfway, though, unfortunately, because really, you know, there's five left to do. But yeah, I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. What about you? Well, so, First of uh, all, we need an update on Baby Espo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So n no real crazy updates right now um still in the same boat as we were last week where we uh have 17 embryos frozen kind of just waiting to start medication change medication you know things to go in the cycles and okay timing so yeah kind of in that waiting phase Pre preparation waiting. phase um yeah i i she her body's preparing yeah you know, I'm, I guess, mentally and, and emotionally preparing for the craziness that's going to ensue once everything starts because it's hormones and craziness and yeah. But yeah, I, I feel bad because I'm, you know, I'm trying to make money to pay off these bills and it's like I constantly work like I'm constantly <laughs> working. So Saturdays are like my day to kind of be like, you know, OK, I'm spending it with her. Yeah. I am. We we are gonna hold hands all day long <laughs> and be, <laughs> you know, we're gonna be husband and wife, boyfriend girlfriend. We're gonna be everything on this day. It just <laughs> let's just do it. <laughs> so we try to go on dates. We try to take a walk. We try to fit the whole week in one day. And, uh, While doing yeah. the honey do list and the things you weren't able to get to all week. 
And, and that's it. Yeah, I'll <laughs> right. be like, all right, let's 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 go to the dump. Okay, so we fill the back <laughs> right. of my truck up with trash, and we go to the dump t- together. We're, like, listening to the radio and holding hands, driving down the road with a truck full of trash. And <laughs> All right, now let's go to Sam's Club, you know, and I'm carrying big things of water out of the truck. And sure. it's, you know... But uh, yeah, yeah, you, you you did mention the, the reality that is life. You know, we we, That's true. we still, but but we make it fun though because it's her and I spending time together. Oh, well, good. So, you know, if you do have a significant other out there, we just celebrated a uh, Valentine's Day not mm-hmm. too long ago. So, uh, you know, spend time with them. You know, we we all seem to forget that that uh, time time is money. Time is so, money, friend. You know, in, <laughs> instead of uh, you know buying things for someone, give them a little time. True, very you know? true. And and even if it isn't your, you know, family members, friends, spend some time with them. That's that's huge. You know, I I, I remember times spent with people more than I remember what they bought me. And I think that's that's really important. And I, sometimes I think we lose we lose sight of that. But, uh, you know, play a few games of Hearthstone with your friends. Spend some time with them, rather than buying them packs. No, but definitely buy them packs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, so yeah, I had a, I had a pretty... I played Priest, obviously. And I got myself to rank 14. I was, I was at... Man, I think last week I was... Wasn't it probably 19? Right. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, yeah. So I'm thinking uh, to myself, you said you got to 17, but you ended up at 19. I was like thinking to myself, I'm like, I can't, I kind of want to get up pretty high because at the end of the month, I'm only going to drop four ranks. Sure. So right now I'm at rank 14, two stars. So I'll be at rank 18, two stars. Mm -hmm. Huh. That's a lot better than, you know, being at rank 18 two stars at the end of the month and then dropping to 22 right. and two stars. Right. Because, you know, each rank is going to have five yeah. stars. Because March, um, March is coming and that's when all the changes happen. Yeah. So, you know, I, I thought I thought about it and I thought, you know, better, I better grind a little bit. So I played like seven or eight games in a row and got myself to rank 14. And I thought, you know what, if I can, if I can get down to like nine or 10, that'll be good. So, you know, drop, I guess, what would be almost five ranks down to 14. Sitting there today, um, I'm currently at 461 wins on my Priest. I think I got 10 Priest wins in the past week. So I haven't played a lot, but I played enough to get myself, you know, where I'm I'm comfortable. I did manage to finish a few quests. Shout out to uh, Buddha, who helped me with a friend's quest. Gave me 80 gold. Um, a couple other friends gave me 80 gold with quests. So that was nice. I'm sitting at, um, 1,725 right now. Nice. And again, you know, I want to, I, I look at it probably six weeks from now, you know, we're probably only one or two weeks away from, um, the announcement that they'll be announcing something. Well, that's funny. You should say that as somebody posted today on Reddit, isn't this about the time we get the announcement for the announcement? Yeah, yeah, I think that's the way it goes. The announcement of the announcement. So, 700, uh, 1,725 gold. I'm almost to 1,600 dust. So, I'm at, I'm at 1,570. So, I almost have enough for a legendary. Of course, when you open up 100 some packs, you're going to get dust. Mm-hmm. So, I hope that I'm dust worthy of Vastidious so, once we get come opening pack time, which... Meaning it's more crazy. than I have, or ah uh, no, I I just want to be worthy. Like worthy, half okay. of what you have would be be nice. Well, um, I've got fifty six hundred right now. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I need to spend it. I need to spend it. Yeah. Well, you know, you, you know, you don't you don't have to. Um, but I do want to say, I uh, I've been trying to finish a quest today since we had that uh, quest thing going on with blizzard where you could win the lich king's helm and money and three thousand packs which i wonder when they're going to announce that they said that they were going to do it within a few days after the contest ended and or they'll announce it a few days within 48 hours of when they pick the winner that's what it was 
And so okay. we're guessing right now at this point that they haven't picked the winner yet. But they should okay. any day now. Yeah. Well, anyway, so I've been, I've still been trying to do a quest today. You know, at least getting my quest log down to where I have two quests instead of zero. You know, that way each day it's a little easier for me to pick and choose and re-roll. Mm -hmm. um, dude, I I ended up getting, I re-rolled into the dungeon run quest. So beat uh, five dungeon run okay. bosses. I, I rolled that twice this past week. Wow. And I thought, okay, I can do this. So, so let me let me choose Druid, a class that I think I will be playing after I finish Priest. You know, I I, I used to never play Druid. Now I think I kind of kind of like it. So, dude, I I finished the dungeon run with Druid again. Nice. Yeah, it was like one and done. I was like, whoa, whoa Did uh, okay. You go a certain focus on that. Do you know off the top of your head? So I did, it was, it was weird because I didn't, I just concentrated on whatever the best pack was. You know, they give you a, a yeah. choice of three cards. I ended up with double health, which is a huge boost. Double health is awesome. And, uh, to, uh, draw an extra card or extra two cards, right? At the beginning of the sure. game. Mm -hmm. And I want to say one of my runs, I had an extra mana crystal too but anyway um i ended up with that and i ended up with a i ended up with a really cool card the one that you steal an enemy minion and add it to your dungeon deck. yes that is awesome it is an awesome card and it helped out a lot you know what else also helped out having my end boss be Valistraz. The one that has all the treasure chests mm -hmm. and yep. he does dan he does an area damage based on how many treasure chests are missing. Okay. Yeah. It was it was so easy. I just didn't kill his treasure chests and went all face. Damn. I let him do the damage. I mean he he buffs up his treasure chests and but the thing is he kept buffing up their health and attack. Mm -hmm. So their health was huge. So they were never gonna die. Right. And they didn't have enough damage to really hurt me because I was double health. So I ended up just cheesing it, really. I just went face and ignored his treasure chest. And uh, yeah, it, it worked out perfect because he couldn't play any minions. He filled up his board and he had like zero, eight treasure chests that weren't really doing anything. It was super simple. So I ended up beating it with Druid again, which was pretty cool. Nothing crazy. No, no gold, no fanfare, you know. So I, I know you were... You're probably disappointed yeah, right now. I, I I didn't get 30 packs. <laughs> right. But I had fun. I had a lot of fun and it was really cool. And the fact that, you know, hey, I did it again. So that means it wasn't a fluke the first time. Like, I, I'd i like to think I know what I'm doing. Well, anyway. By the so way, I played quickly, Druid. on the Druid portion of it, when I did my Druid and won. This yeah, week, yeah. Um, one of the things that I picked this time around is I picked a... Uh, one of the rewards was cast random pyroblasts until one of the heroes dies. Oh yeah. I was like, yeah, I gotta that's... try it. I have to try it. And I never got to play it ah. when I needed it on the last boss. I was yeah. like, I draw that card. I'm playing it when I do that and never got it. But I, I think I saw res win with that card quite a few times. Wow. Quite a few times. I did have yeah. double health. Double um, health helps with that also. Yeah. And I don't remember all the other things I had in there. Uh, one of, uh, yeah, I don't remember exactly, but I think overall I, um, I ended up going, I want to say I, I went el elementals. Okay. Um, for some reason. Um, with your druid? Um, actually, you know, no, take that back. That's the mage I'm playing right now. I'm doing elementals. Okay. Yeah. And that makes sense. Yeah, got, I don't uh, remember what I did with the druid, but uh, I your, did. Your elementals have life steal with with the with right. the Jaina. Well, I had a real big focus in one direction, and every other, you know, every time we got a choice to choose cards, I was able to continue that trend, and it yeah. really helped a lot to get that final push to be able to win overall. So, yeah, I I had some jade mixed in, which was nice. I avoided um, jade on mine this time. 
Yeah, I, I didn't go quest. I usually like you Jade. know, you can. Yeah, Jade's nice. You can you can choose the quest in some of those also, mm -hmm. the Barnabas quest. But um, I I never got it to come up, and and honestly, I, I would rather go Jade than quest in the Druid. Right. But I had I had some good some good cards, a lot of good ramp, which helped out a lot. No no twig of the world tree, but uh, no, and no coon, but I was still able to just. Just make it work. I had some giants. I think I had a mountain giant in, and maybe an arcane giant. I remember now. I I had a, uh, I had Coon and I had um, uh, Kelthazad. Oh yeah, I had KT. The legendaries one time. Yeah, yeah. KT helps out a yeah. lot. It was nice. at the end of your turn if any minions died, bring them back to life. Yeah, KT is, he's tough. He is yeah. tough. KT really, really breaks the game against the AI almost 100% of the time. Like, I think they get kind of confused as to what in the world KT's. Well, like, I'd say that I would agree with you, except for the fact that at least one of my matches, they targeted KT big time and took okay. him out. So, yeah. They were well, I mean, they, they do get wise every once in a while. They're like, hey, listen, nah. Like, hey, I could guy. take him out. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna do that. But, Thanks. But yeah, I, I wanted to mention that I that I ended up beating Druid again, which was pretty cool, and I got two dungeon run quests. So I had a pretty good week. Um, I'm I'm pretty happy. You know, I I would like to be rank nine or ten right now, but I mean we're still what yeah. eight days? Yep. Actually, eight days from the end. Is it eight days? I think you've got seven. 28, okay. 28th is the last day of the month. Okay. But yeah, reminder, guys. Um, end of the month, we will see the new ranked play change up. Yes. Where you will have your rank that you got your whatever your highest rank at the end of February was, you will drop four ranks from that including stars again i am currently 14 with two stars so if the month rolled over right now i would end up at 18 two stars mm -hmm. and uh that's going to be amazing now the stars will change also you know it used to be more stars towards legend and less stars towards rank 25 now every rank has five stars yeah. so we'll be we'll be looking at that again you only have to win five ranked games to get your card back now. Yep. You don't have to get to rank 20, which is another great thing. There's mm -hmm. so many so many cool things changing, and I think this is a great move for Hearthstone. Yeah, definitely. You know, people have been saying on the casual side and on the professional side, such a grind. You know, each month I got to grind either to rank 20 or I have to grind to legend. You know, either way, it's a grind. Now it's going to be it's going to be cool because I heard, a, I heard a lot of pros saying, wow, I, I get to actually have fun now. Sure. You know, so they get the rank, you know, to a uh, legend rank earlier and now they have time to, you know, have fun. But I guarantee most of those guys will go head over to Asia. They'll go to EU and they'll try to get legend or they will get legend on those, those accounts also. Mm -hmm. So, but I still think they'll be able to get all three and and they'll have fun. You know, and, and that's what Hearthstone's all about, having fun. You know, playing those cool meme decks, you know, getting with your friends and you know, trying to make combos happen that don't normally happen and have a lot of fun with the game. So I think this is a good move for Blizzard and uh rank play. Pretty well, excited. This week they also mentioned that um well, actually, it's launched. The there's a new Wild Fest that's happening, and uh, for the next three weeks, starting February 19th through March 11th, all the wild cards have returned to the arena, which is what we were talking about a little bit earlier. That arena yeah. has all wild cards now in there too. We're also going to see two different tavern brawls during the event. The first one launched yesterday. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, there will be no free arena runs, but there will be a free entry into one of the upcoming brawls. And that's likely going to be the next one, which is called the Wild Brawl Zeum. 
And that's going to be a mix between what was the heroic brawl way back and an arena run. So I think it's going to be an interesting, interesting look because it's going to cost a regular arena cost to play. So it would be the dollar, 150 gold or $1.99 cash yeah. to play it. And that one, we should see a free entry into that one. But uh, yeah, that's I did also, pretty crazy. In, in this wild fest, you know, Blizzard has all kind of tournaments going on. Um, you know, ev- I mean, Blizzard doesn't, but Hearthstone does. And, and, you know, Blizzard does tournaments, also qualifiers and things of, of that nature. But also this week, they started their wild open tournament. So, you know, we don't usually talk about the competitive side much, Mm -hmm. but since we are talking about Wild Fest, it's one of the things that goes along with that. Um, And that's the Wild Open. And uh, you can play that and qualify for other Wild and tournaments. So I thought that was kind of cool. Pretty, pretty neat stuff that they're actually saying, hey, you know, there's this game mode out there where there's all the cards available to you. And we support it, which which I think is correct. They need to, you know, say, hey, we still support wild. It's not just the junkyard. We don't just throw things there that we don't want to use anymore that, <coughs> you know, are, 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 you know, not playable or not, you know, fun. Wild is wild is there and they are promoting it and, you know, taking care of it, let, uh, letting people enjoy pretty cool stuff yeah so that wild tournament you were mentioning um the qualifiers started today Mm -hmm. here in america and in americas and asia starts in two days in europe two days uh on saturday or sunday there is a what they call knockout sunday happening for the now before week one of the qualifiers and then next weekend, the same thing will happen starting on Thursday, Friday, and then on Sunday, they have a knockout Sunday at the end. Um, there's no broadcast for these qualifiers. They're just regional events that are happening. And then what happens after that is then we're going to have the regional playoffs. And this is going to be the top eight players from each region. They're going to play in two four-person brackets. And this is going to be on March 7th. And it will be on the Hearthstone's Twitch channel if you want to watch it. And uh, then they have the finals on March 31st. And this is where the final battle begins at uh, California. You're going to do it at the Blizzard Arena. And the top eight finalists for the World Open will qualify for prizes, which we talked about last week. But top prize being $8,000. So it should be a lot of fun to watch that. So yeah. pay attention, Twitch We'll have those when they're available to watch. Yep. So yeah, the, the right. brawl this week called Venture into the Wild. And this is a pre-built decks for you. And I've already played mine. I won mine with Priest. Overwhelmingly tore up my opponent. That oh. was amazing. I mean, I had... Settle down. I had two Ragnaroses on the board and Whoops. a f- few other big minions against my <laughs> opponent and there i felt really bad because i was just wiping his board every single turn yeah yeah it was it was pretty overwhelming um the cool thing about this is that if you win a game you get a classic pack as usual but there are different archetypes that you're gonna be playing with each class depending on which class you choose uh the druid gets an aggro druid type deck hunter is mid-range hunter Mage is Secret Mage. Paladin has a Silver Hand Paladin. Big Priest, which is the one I was playing. Miracle Rogue. Aggro Shaman. Reno Krulzakis Warlock. And Pirate Warrior. To wrap it up. Yeah. So I played... I played Hunter. And Shaman. Warlock and Druid. And I played against um, Mage and Pirate. And I think maybe Big Priest. Big Priest has the Resurrect in it also, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So Big I, I, I se- fun. Yeah, I've seen most of these. 
and it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I I play a lot of wild, so you know these decks. Obviously, I wasn't like, whoa, hey, you can't play a whoa, you got Ragnaros, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm used to seeing that wild. But uh, it was definitely cool stuff. I got my pack, enjoyed it. I I played probably four or five games. Okay, and had a lot of fun. Yep. I think I had a quest quest for shaman i think and that's why i played shaman so i had to win three games with shaman i think or yeah i think that was it so it was it was fun stuff this is this is really cool because and it's great for new players because you can play with these wild cards like i was talking to my friend matt you know he just started playing a month ago so he doesn't have any of these old cards sure now he said that um somehow he has black rock mountain <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like oh okay so i think he maybe logged in bought the expansion like back when it was out you know because it was the newest thing you know sure, so, yeah. hey i'm gonna go ahead and get this you know and and he said he thinks he bought it with gold played through it got all the cards so he has that set okay but it's like there's a lot more you know to it and uh, he said he got into this brawl and he was like, whoa, these these are cards I've never seen before. <laughs> you know, I a bet. lot of them said a lot of the mech cards and things like that. Um, I think it was him I was talking to was talking about that. But uh, yeah, so it's it's definitely interesting for new players and, and kind of cool because, like I said, you get to play with cards that you might not have in action. R really cool stuff. But get out there. Play the brawl. Hopefully, you're listening to this in time to play it. Yeah. Not well, one fun. thing I want to kind of throw in here while we're talking about different things for new players and such, um, our I have a shout out for Twitter shout out for today. I want to bring it up here because um, it was from Wayne Wells, and he uh, mentioned he says sent us a tweet today. In fact, says great information for new and seasoned Hearthstone players. And he sends a link to Hearthstone Top Decks. They have a guide that is actually really good. Um, it's a Hearthstone Gold Guide to maximize free packs, gold, and dust. And yeah. So basically, the summary of this is that the gold can be quite difficult to acquire if you've just begun or you're just looking to make sure you've left no stone untour, unturned. This gold guide may help. And they go through pretty much every single possible way you can get gold in this game that's funny because i was just gonna bring up how there's these hidden achievements in the mm -hmm. game that get you packs and gold you know one they're not example, hidden anymore if you've got this guide this guy well yeah well i mean out. in the game they're hidden though there's no right. way to track them right right so um like like one that's not difficult to do is win 100 games in any mode mm -hmm. in it in the achievements chicken dinner and you get 300 gold yep you know you win a thousand games in any it's called big winner and you get 300 gold um if you unlock every class which you should probably do you know asap you get a hundred gold i was talking i was going to talk about this earlier when you were talking about playing against the ai if you beat the AI in expert mode, beat all the AI opponents, you get 100. If you get all the basic cards, you get 100 gold. Hey, here's one getting... I don't have yet. What's that? Uh, one of everything. Collect every card in the classic set. You get 100 yeah, gold. Yeah, you get 100 gold. Yep. Yeah, I don't have that either because there's a few. I don't think I have Milhouse Mana Storm. And I don't think I have a couple other legendaries from the classic set but yeah i mean there's there's so many of these like vestidia said stones unturned and you just um Bastidia, can you link that in the show notes yeah are you because i'm sure notes? i'm sure that guide is one that i've seen in the past it's but there are the twitter uh shout outs yeah okay well, well there, I'll there's a under, lot i'll put under hints and tips there you go there's a, there's a lot in the game that's not tracked in the UI, and it would behoove you to look at this guide and go through it, try to you know 
grab all these achievements. I know in the past we've talked about what's one of the milestones you can shoot for right away. That's unlocking each class. You know, what's another milestone? Getting each class to, to level 10, which unlocks, you know, the, the class cards for that class. Another milestone, maybe defeating the expert AI, you know, e each of those classes, you know, and each of those milestones gains you either gold or pack, you know, and then maybe your another milestone. And I believe this was back when uh, Ariana was on with us mm -hmm. and we were talking about, you know, stepping stones, you yeah. know, to keep you involved in the game, to give you that kind of reason to play, you know, because sometimes... I mean, I don't fall into this, but I'm sure someone that's newer to the game might feel overwhelmed or might feel like, wow, you know, I'm just not not into it. Like, I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. You know, make these, set up these small goals for yourself and try to achieve them, and that'll give you a reason to play the game until you gain a little bit more knowledge, until you gain a few more cards to where, you know, you can play with your friends and actually have Because it. it is kind of... It's, it is kind of hard to have fun. You know, we talk about each week, well, yeah, just play with your friends and have fun. Well, sometimes it's hard to do that when you're not playing a tavern brawl or when you you don't have a large collection. Because the tavern brawl sometimes, like this week, it's great to play with friends because, you know, you don't have to have a great big collection. And I will admit, it's it's got to be tough for somebody that doesn't have a large collection to have fun with friends because you don't have them. So... You know, it's it, make these small goals for yourself until you can get a bigger collection or until that next, you know, tavern brawl comes around. You can, you know, play with cards that aren't. Collection. Sure. So I, I hope that helps out a little. And one more thing I want to mention that's on here, too, is that um, there's also rewards for playing on certain devices. If you have access to them, for example, uh, playing on an iPad, you get one pack. If you play on yeah. an Android tablet, you pay you get one pack. On an iPhone, you get one pack. In an Android phone, you get one pack. So I'm gonna have to go borrow one of my friend's Android's phones and log in real quick and do it because I have done it on a tablet, but I haven't done it on a phone. And I also see you can do it on a Samsung Galaxy S6 series, uh, three packs plus a card back. I was going to say, I think the Samsung gives you a card back. Yeah. Because I have that card back. I got that. Um, my wife has a Samsung Galaxy. I logged in on hers. Yeah, I may have to run around through the office and say, hey, anybody got Samsung S6? Because I yeah. want that card back. Yeah, I, I know I have that one. So I was like, where'd this card back come from? And then I realized, <laughs> oh, I got that, you know, with this. And of so. course, if you buy Diablo 3, you get one too. Yep. Reaper yeah, There's all kind of all kind of so yeah, stuff. It's, it's in there for you. The link's in there. Great way to figure out how to maximize your gold. Definitely. Okay. Well, I really don't have a whole lot more at the moment. Um, we did have a Facebook shout out I wanted to put out there. It's a uh, We do have somebody who uh, has come through and he joined patreons to, to support us and uh it's half adder and he said i decided to become a patron after recently dis rediscovering the game and finding your great show i'm not competitive and only can get a few games a day in max it's really nice to hear a show not assume everyone is the elite gamers keep up the <laughs> awesome that's really cool because you know we've been doing this what episode is this one? One hundred seventy-seven. One seventy-eight. Um, I think on Twitch it says one seventy-seven. But uh, it's it's crazy because we you know we do this each week and we think well you know we're just we have the same fans and the same listeners and it's kind of cool to have new blood every once in a while and uh, I appreciate the new patrons and the new listeners and and, and that's kind of why we're going back to basics again you know we we claim to be the casual hearthstone podcast or the cas the hearthstone podcast for casual players so we're gonna go back and kind of feel out that new player experience and vastidious did it himself 
But then again, you know, you, you do it yourself and you already know all. Right, things. right. You know the vocabulary. So I'm going to do my best these next couple of weeks to kind of gain some knowledge on the new player experience, the actual brand new player experience and see what kind of questions they have mm -hmm. that we don't normally think of because, hey, we already know what taunt is. We already know what charge is. Mm -hmm. We know what a hero power is. You know, it's, yeah, it's, it's an incredible podcast. podcast. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, you know, the funny but, thing is, too, in this last two, three weeks, I have heard from several places, uh, different people I listen to who are getting back into Hearthstone or starting Hearthstone for the first time, and they're confused. They don't know yeah. how everything works, and they're still trying to figure out how to play the game. And they're mentioning many times, I wish there was a resource somewhere out there that helps me understand how to play again yeah. or to get into it and how to catch up well, and get caught up. So that's really I what's think, prompted me, I think, to do this. You know, getting into the game isn't that difficult. Playing a few matches, not that difficult. I, I think the steepest part of, of the learning curve comes when you're making decks. Mm-hmm. When you have to create your own deck, make, in other words, you're, you're devising a plan to defeat your opponent. I think that's probably the most daunting task in Hearthstone as a new player. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm off base. But I think for me, that was the most fun. So I kind of didn't think of it as a daunting task. I thought, wow, I'm going to make these cards work together. And... You know, I had a I had a, a, a TCG background, you know, in the WoW TCG. So I kind of already and and in in our little group of players, I was the one that always researched the card and tried to figure out, you know, what combos were really cool, what cards were really fun. So I, I really want to try to see what you know, and and I want to talk to Matt a little bit. I want to to a few other friends a little bit about what what are you doing when you go to in. You know, let me see you build a deck, mm -hmm. you know, and just just watch them kind of pick, you know, through the collection and and at, pick their brain. Hey, why are you choosing that card? Well, this one has the biggest attack. OK, but it's only going to be able to attack, you know, the next turn. And then it's probably going to die if it makes it to that turn. Because what health. you mean a minion with five attack and one health <laughs> is a <the> problem? <laughs> so, you know, I, I kind of want to where they go. You know, and why they're choosing and what makes them do that. And, and you know, and, and talk about, you know, these the, these words like curve. You know, mm -hmm. are you are you making a deck that's, you know, remember our one episode one one hump or twos or two, right, you know, because right. because a curve is, you know, your bell curve, right? You've got how many one cost cards, how many two cost cards. And for those of you that are just listening, I'm making a bar graph with my fingers, <laughs> you know, and, and at the end, at the top of that, those bars, it makes a nice curve because you have your three and four cost cards, more of those and less of the higher cost cards and less of the lower cost cards to create a curve. You know, it's these vocabulary words like curve and and um, top deck and things like that, that we kind of take for granted that the new players like listening to a podcast and like, what it, what do you mean? They made it to top deck sooner than I did. Or, mm. You know, they're top decking before I do, you know, top decking is when you're, you know, your hand is empty and basically each turn you're, you're drawing one card, you know, off the top of your deck. You're, you're, you're in top deck mode. You know, and there's even a podcast out there. I don't know if they're still around called Top Deck Kings. Yep. You know, there, there's people out there that they have some sort of zen and they're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to gonna top deck this, you know, and and they pull off the card that they need to win, you know, and, and you'll hear of people saying, wow, he, he top decked for the win, you know, where he basically pulled that pyroblast off the top of his deck just in time to do that 10 damage to the opponent and kill him. Right. Um, You know, so curve top decking you know some people don't even know what a mulligan means because you don't you know you don't really see that in the game you just see that you're choosing cards to toss back and hopefully draw cards that you can play on those first couple turns it's that's, a fish that's, right 
Yeah, that's called go fish. <laughs> um, but yeah, a, a mulligan is a type of <laughs> type of fish. And and I and and I think we get that term from from golf. I don't play golf, but I think a mulligan is when you get to hit your ball again. Correct. Yep. Get to try it. That, well, you get to right? bring your ball back to where you were and start as if you didn't okay. make a mistake in the first place. But most card games, they they call it a mulligan. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to you know redraw, so to speak. You know those card, those original cards that you first draw, and um, you know it's stuff like that that we take for advantage. It's words like that that we take for take you know for granted. But new players are you know that's a, that's a lot to take in when you're listening to somebody you know using shortcuts with with lingo and acronyms, and you're like, wow, I can't even listen to this podcast sure. or these people talk because I have no idea what's going on. I'm so lost. You know what in the world did you just say that? You know, so in these next couple of weeks, we're going to do our best to kind of let you guys in on on the the cool guy lingo. You know, the what, what, the, what? Yeah, the secret language. First time. <laughs> right. This week on Legend of the Innkeeper, we talk secret language of Hearthstone. <laughs> yeah, this week's episode is brought to you by Taunt. There you go. And color I, blue. Yeah. Oh, I know. Um, Matt was talking to me about, and th this I thought was funny. He said, he said, man, I played that tower and brawl a few weeks ago, or maybe even a month ago where you were supposed to team up with the person that you were facing to fight a guy that had a shield around him. And, uh, <laughs> I know my opponent probably hated me because I had no idea what I was doing, <laughs> you know, and it's, it, and I thought about it and I thought, wow, can you imagine being a new player because you know to us it was like okay we know that as soon as he plays his stone skin gargoyle i gotta go ahead and buff it through the roof the best that i can right you know we know that we know what the other deck has we know what's gonna happen a new player what in the world right. you don't even know you don't even know what a combo is what what cards are in that combo you know we already know it's it's inner fire and um whatever the other card is that changes health to you know attack yeah, like we know that obviously clearly yeah what you're saying yeah. right now divine spirit or whatever I, I don't know but we you know we we know the combos you know in a combo a combo is a order of cards that you play it's like two or three cards that you play in a certain order to do something that's gonna basically change the attack of a minion or do a lot of damage to your opponent it's it's a combination of cards that, that can do a lot of damage or or buff something well what what in the world does buff mean i mean i could go on all day with these vocabulary words you know to a new per, to a new player what oh he said he was going to buff a card so he's going to get out you know some some light grit sandpaper and <laughs> take it over top of that card he's going to polish a turd you know, it's like, you know, what, what in the world's, what's, <laughs> what's he doing? You know, buffing. It's when you add health or add attack to a card or you put a divine shield on a card, you give it wind fury. It's when you add something to a card that originally wasn't there when you played mm -hmm. it, you're buffing it. You know, you're, I don't even know where we get that word. It's, it's, it's interesting how we say these words and we don't even, you know, think anything of it. We're like, oh yeah. What you're you're gonna buff that guy? Is he bald? You're gonna shine his head up? You know, one <laughs> in the world, right? So, but yeah, hopefully in these next couple of weeks we can get back to our roots and kind of help you guys out as new players and veteran players. Hopefully you'll you'll stick around and just enjoy the banter that is Vastidis and Espo. We appreciate everybody who listens. Hopefully you guys will stick around and hang out. Absolutely. Help us, help us get better and help us get ready for episode 200. Dude, I, I'm so excited. This yeah, is crazy. I've been thinking a lot about it, trying to think right? about what we're going to do, and I've got some ideas. So, yeah. Wow. Well, we're, we're, we're moving towards it. You got a new microphone. Yep. I got a green screen. Yep. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're, we're definitely, you know, trying to make things better. Hopefully, Slowly you guys will still sure. be with us. Yes. Okay. All right. So, well, we talked a little bit about um, our Facebook shout out, 
And then we just talked about our Twitter shout out. Um, I do want to give, and last week I think I did this too, a battle.net shout out. Last week we talked about playing with friends, finishing quests, and and oh man, Team 5 did an amazing thing a while back when they made it so you can finish quests, do quests. We talked about that a little bit, and Deadpool, one of our friends of the show, a listener, um, he is a Battle.net friend of mine, and every once in a while him and I play some friendly matches. Well, he told me after the show last week that, hey, Espo, um, you know, I don't mind taking one for the team. I don't mind playing a few friendly matches, you know, to help somebody get a few wins, you know, if they have a smaller collection. Because it is tough to get some wins now it is. when you got a smaller collection. So he said, you know, here's my battle tag. And he, he gave it to me. Um, and I put it in the show notes. So for those of you that want to add the Deadpool, he is uh, in our show notes, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let you guys go there and get that instead of and he, saying and it he's live. family friendly, by the way, unlike the real Deadpool. Yes, yeah, there you <laughs> go, there you go. <laughs> yeah, the real the real Deadpool is uh, a super that is not so family friendly, not so <laughs> but um, I, I still like him nonetheless. He's not for not for children. Um, but yeah, so Deadpool offers up his battle.net name. You can add him, and then he will play some friendly matches with you. you. Just chat him up and let him know what you need. And and that's what's cool about being able to play these quests with friends. I know Rez and I try to finish our quests each day, and he will say, uh, he'll say, hey man, I gotta play 50 Paladin. And I'll be like, oh, I need to win games with Druid. So, you know, we'll play and I'll I'll play a bunch of cards that make my opponent draw, you know, and he'll play a bunch of cards that help me win, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, that are druid cards. And it's 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 cool, you know, you 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 know, and, and battle.net is so cool to where you could even go so far as to, you know, get get in a voice conversation, you know, with the person and you know, say, "Hey, listen, this is what I got to do." You know, it just makes it so much easier. So shout out to Deadpool for being a, a great friend and, um, you know, listening to the show and being being cool. This community is awesome. And Deadpool is one of the many reasons why. So thank you. Right. Definitely. OK, well, that will wrap us up this week and we'll get back at it next week and see what we can do. But uh, until then, check it out on youtube uh we also have been streaming a little bit here and there and you can find us also on twitter at loti podcast and at espo at xcmtb gamer so until next week we appreciate you guys hanging out with us and we will uh, talk with you a little bit more then good job team okay all right <laughs> dude i love talking about hearthstone <laughs> yeah I mean, it's, no. I am wiped out. I am so wiped out and so tired. But it's like, once I start talking about it, I get so excited. Especially when I'm talking about, like, new players and things. Like, I can just... Uh, uh, yeah. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hope this works out. Oh, no. What happened? I am playing a dungeon run. <laughs> <laughs> i'm thinking like like you you hit like halfway through the it up. oh no oh no what happened you're like dungeon man. yes <laughs> dude and you are awesome three you random are awesome. mage spells to my hand <laughs> you are awesome i'm playing against <laughs> um uh elder jarl and he's in oh fatigue, okay and he's yeah. uh, at eight fatigue at this point and I Man, still have gonna, 23 health. I'm going to get in here. I'm going to spectate. Good job tonight with the show. Bro. I will wait on you. That's weird. I started up Hearthstone and I can't say something. Say something. Okay, there you go. Okay. For some reason, everything froze up when I started up Hearthstone. I've been getting that lately. I might uninstall and reinstall or. A little fix. All right, let's go.
Let me spectate you here. Dude, you are you are the rank twenty. I am. So have you been playing any wild? Nope. Or just okay, just standard. I am off. Or just now. dungeon runs, I guess. Yes. Hey! What's up? Houston Outlaws is playing tonight against London Spitfire. Yes. So I'm super excited. They won by like one point. Wait, who won? Outlaws. Yeah. Oh, no. No. This no. Yeah, I'm London Spitfire, Spitfire all the way. No, well, they lost tonight. Oh, <laughs> no. Why? No. Oh, yeah. No. Can you hear him okay? No. <laughs> Uh, there you are, Squishy. Hey. Can you see me waving? Yes. yes. I can. <laughs> okay. He's going to die awesome. next turn. Dude, look at you, man. You were doing it. Ozruk. Yeah. Yeah. Have at it. All right. And he's dead. But this is not the final. That's boss five, right? Uh, I think so. Five or six. Yeah. London Spitfire. <laughs> yeah, they lost. I know, right? Uh, yeah. So now they I don't lost know. two outlaws twice and beat and them once. Me dizzy. Oh no! I um, you know, I I have a friend at work. He uh, he's been trying to get me to play Fortnite a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's like him and him and his college buddies. That's all they do is play Fortnite and watch Overwatch uh, League. <laughs> And, um, you know, he, he just, he was like, Espo, he said, just, just pick a, just pick a team. So I picked uh, London Spitfire. You should have picked so now, Houston Outlaws. Yeah, that's funny. Well, I mean, you guys, obviously, yeah, he's, you know. Yeah. Well, I was going with the Dallas Fuel, but somebody likes the green better. They do ah. They the underdogs. And I was checking Twitter and they actually have the most followers um, by a long shot. Oh, wow. So, no way. So, yeah, they're pretty popular because I thought London Spitfire um, would be right up there with them. But they have like 75,000 yeah. and London has like 57,000 or something. Interesting. I was really surprised. Well, Man. I think it's like, you know, the concern, the thing is that the London Spitfire are made up of a bunch of Koreans and they're not Londonites. Yeah. So it's kind of weird. This chick's tough, man. Yep. Yeah, this chick is very tough. Cause she she gets she gets her quest done fast. Yep. All right, well I'll leave y'all to it. I was just okay. so excited. So good luck, have fun. She had right, squishy. three times trying to tell me this. <laughs> and I'm like, we're recording. <laughs> we're doing a podcast. I don't know if you've heard that before. <laughs> You were a co-host for years. <laughs> Good play, brother. Good play. Smash him in the face. Ah, uh, this is no good. No. Oh, ha, ha, ha. that's tough. Yeah, unfortunately, she always pulls the one out that I need to kill. Yeah. Hey, <sighs> there we go. That's good. Yeah, you got uh, volatile elemental hero power and rest of the face. Well, see, if, up till this, I got this card. I didn't want to play the volatile elemental because I'm safe. Yeah, him. yeah, no, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Now that I have him, I'm using him to. Yeah, yeah, big time. He'll probably. Oh yeah, I was gonna say he's probably gonna bounce that. Wish I had a a couple secrets in my hand to kill that thing when he plays it right i think you you got it wrapped up dude i don't i don't see this as a problem oh yeah oh yeah there you go upgrade pyros yeah 
I think I, I think you got this. He's getting closer. Three of five. It's it's gonna be tough because he keeps bump. He keeps uh bouncing that vial fin. If you but could, he's only doing it one once a turn. Yeah. There five. we go. So that was one of your choices, right? Yes. Yeah, that's that's a sweet card. <coughs> and actually, I did that wrong. I should have attacked to face on that one, I think. All right. Look out, dude. What? What? Wow. That was interesting. He didn't... He didn't use it. Yahar! No charge. <laughs> Yahar, no charge. Oh. Dude, look at that pull. Look at that. That's strong. That's strong. Um, uh, I would have went Blizzard. I thought that too, but... Um, I'm thinking I got... A way to remove these guys. Yeah. Without having to, I can save my blister for. Next and then time. he takes a. Yeah, you're right. I mean, and then you can blizzard even if he does play all five, attack minions right. next Freeze turn. Him. Yeah, you can blizzard and then Ragnarosal. If he hopefully hit face, or Ragnaros. you can hit face. Well, he doesn't have enough mana to play it anyway. That's right. Done. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Good job, dude. And that's boss number six. Well, it said five of eight, so yeah, it'd be six of eight. Yeah, this is six of eight. So we had enough to yeah. play Crystal Core. Oh wow, yeah, he did. You still, you still got it. All you need to do is just attack in with your mini. Oh, yeah. Ragnaros finished it. Yeah, just kill. Finish the show. And turn. I'm going to throw that out there just Or play somebody. Pyros. Sweet. Nice. So what are your choices? Choices are... Cadgar Scrying Orb, which spells cost one less. Mysterious Tome Passive at the start of the game to play three random secrets. Or Cloak of Invisibility, where your minions have permanent stealth. I don't like that one. Because that way you are you never have any defense. Yeah, if you have some taunts. So I'm thinking Cadgar's Orb so I get my spells cheaper. Because I am moderately spell heavy. Okay. Yeah. Secrets are nice. But you get more value in the long term from the Orb. Gotcha. Orb. What okay. packs are we looking at? Frost, which is Blizzard, Snow Chugger, and Frostbolt. Okay. Magical Friends, which is Dan Uncle Tony, Flamewalker, and Mana Worm. And Elementals, which is Ozrock, Blaze Collar, and Pyros, which I'm leaning towards because I am Elemental Heavy. Mm, yeah. Elementals are nice, you know, buffing and, up stuff. And yeah, this is you might get helpful. Jaina. Okay, going against Voodoo Master Vex. All battle cries and death rattles trigger twice. Oh, that's really nice. Because there's a lot of battle cries in those elementals. And one thing I do like with a uh, Voodoo Man, I mean, um, with a uh, Pyros, is that, ooh, I got my pick. Um, it's you know basically using three elementals I can use against upgrades. Yeah, and they incremental increment along the way.
Okay, just got me a free mana gem, mana crystal. That's right, it double whammies. Oh, and that means Pyros is going to double Death Rattle, too. Yeah, this is going to work to your advantage, I think. Woohoo! Ten damage to the face. So if I, yeah, I think, okay, I'm going to take him out. Take him out and rag? Yeah. Yeah, because that's automatic eight. <clears throat> and if he doesn't get rid of it, it'll be doing some serious business. He didn't. Yeah, you're golden. What I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze him so that I get maximum damage here. No! Okay, at least it was... Uh, hoping it would trigger next turn so that way he uh does massive damage to himself yeah sweet <laughs> that's awesome i would play that kabbalist's tome dude and see what you get Some pretty sweet stuff. Oh, yeah. Wow. I always like playing against Voodoo Master because it's most of the time you're but you get the benefit more than he does. <clears throat> Oh, oh, don't have, don't have damage to the face. You got, you got, uh, Pyros, Pyros, Arcane Blast, Hero Power, right? Yep. <clears throat> All I get is four. Yup. That's not going to hurt me. Mm, that interesting. Puts a roadblock. Nah, you oh, got it. there we go. Nice. Congrats, man. Curse says. This is it. Last boss. Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, so we get a Frost, Snow Chugger, Shatter, or Frostbolt. Magical Friends, Azure Drake, Azure Drake, or Flame Walker, Waker. Or Elementals, Osric, Osric, or Ragnar and Ragnaros. <laughs> oh, you got to go Oz, 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 Rag, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that way you're getting Rag all day long. And this is Pathmaker Ham. Mm. Deal this two is seventh damage. boss then. Yeah. Deal two damage okay. to three random right. enemies. I feel like you should be okay. <clears throat> oh, and their enemy minions cost one more, and my spells cost one less. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Oh, this is sweet. Yeah, and then you're, you're elemental. Except the elementals out there with um, uh, no minions on the board. Would have been better to have him out there when there's minions, so he does three damage to a minion. Wow, dude, you were, you were going all out. <clears throat> okay, I would definitely say Doomsayer this turn. That way, whatever he plays, you don't have to worry about it. Because mm -hmm. he has five mana. Or he has three mana, I'm sorry. I forgot that he has to use it. My bad. That was my bad, dude. I'm sorry. Last time I listened yeah. to you. That was a misplay. I'm sorry. That's no, fine. I forgot that he has to use his hero power Darn it. Yeah, see. Ugh. That's frustrating. <laughs> I'll wait a turn. So he's not going to grow any larger because I have no means. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because you're not. That's tough. Or shouldn't have played Pyros. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. You could have cleared. Yep. Yep. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Just uh... Hero power face, and then play Rag next turn. Well, it depends on what he plays. <laughs> Great. Hmm. Interesting. It would have been nice if he would have killed off one of those. Mm hmm. Yeah. There you go. Just enough. Well, we can hope he only has two Frothing Berserkers in his deck. So, Osruk is, uh... Oh. Go to his face. Oh. His face. His face. Come on. His face. Wow. 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 Oh, I would have ragged. Yeah, but what if he misses... I, yeah, I don't okay. need. Okay. I'm already getting two damage to the face. Yeah, yeah. As it stands now, it's not looking good. Yeah. Oh. 
I've got no heals. I guess just Ozrock again. Yeah. Uh, and then Ruby Spellstone to hope to... Oh, no. I only have... One. It's only going to give me one. It gives you two one. spells. Oh, two. You're right. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, my goodness. Okay. There was major malfunction there. What in the world? That, that thing went off. Went off. Uh, you play Servant of Calamos and hope that you get... Or, or, or Ruby Spellstone first, yeah. See what you get. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <sighs> I guess you go Tar Creeper? Yep. I mean, you're... Well, no, you're dead anyway. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're dead anyway. Yeah, if you don't get a heal. Yeah, you're dead. Ah, that sucks, Bummer. dude. Pathmaker ham, man. Pathmaker ham. Mistakes were made. <gasps> oh, I should have had one more mini on the board. I might have survived. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, well. Well, anyways, good job. Good show. Yeah, good show. Dude. Good show. All right, brother. Well, I am definitely going to go to bed. Four o'clock comes early. Oh, yes. I'm sure it does. All right, brother.